I woke up to Ole screaming, I could hear not the sound of explosions, but glass shattering and cracking. The next thing that happened was the air raid siren, fire and debris flying everywhere. Recollected Dimitra. The little baby had given two months of happiness to Ola and Dimitra. It sustained the young family despite the war and disturbing news and events in their native country of Ukraine. The baby was murmuring so sweetly when mum was breastfeeding her and was smiling kindly to her dad when he was picking her up. That night, two-month-old Victoria woke up as usual because she was hungry. Mum took her out of her bed and brought her into her own bed to breastfeed. I love sitting and pulling my knees up. When I breastfeed my daughter, I cover her with a blanket for her to feel warm like in a cocoon. Thanks to that, our baby survived. I managed to cover her up with my body. If she had been lying in her own bed, I wouldn't like to think what would have happened. Recounted Ola. On the 18th of March, Russian occupants fired on the residential area of Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. As a result, one person died, 19 were injured, four of whom were little children. Six houses, a kindergarten and a school where a bomb shelter was located were partly ruined. During this attack on the citizens of Ukraine, our heroes got hurt. I was terrified. My daughter was completely covered in blood. It seemed she was injured, but it turned out it was me who was injured in the head and the blood was dripping onto the baby, said Ola. She started shouting and her husband ran in. He managed to cover his wife and daughter with a blanket. Fifteen terrifying seconds which seemed to last forever. This was enough to save his family and understand that they are the most precious people in his life. People live in peaceful times all their lives and don't get as close to each other as we got during those 15 seconds. The connection we made will last for the rest of our lives, said Dimitro. At the moment, my family is in the Olmadit hospital. The doctors surprised the baby wasn't hurt, but the mother got about 25 injuries from broken glass and pieces of metal. She had cuts on her face, arms, breast, which would remind her of that terrible day for a very long time. The woman and her husband both had surgery. Now they are safe. This photo of a woman with a bandaged head and cuts on the face who was protecting her precious baby girl was spread all over the world in just minutes. The people called her Ukrainian Madonna as a sign of unconditional love and the heroism of all Ukrainian mothers. During 100 days of full-scale war in Ukraine, there were more than 48,000 babies born. These babies don't know what it means to go for a safe walk with parents or grandparents, how to sleep peacefully and wake up only because you are hungry and not because of an air raid siren. The family of Ola and Dimitro have a ruined flat. However, their most precious baby is safe. Share this video for people all over the world to find out what is really going on in Ukraine. Please subscribe to the channel and also press that like button. See you soon.